Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode Number 6. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Game of Thrones. And by God Almighty, does it feel good to be back on some Game of Thrones action, man. It's been a minute for me. It has not been long for you guys at all. We've been watching these every week since I bulk recorded, but for me... It's been a good three to four weeks since I've recorded any Game of Thrones. I have missed this show a lot, and I'm excited to be back in it. Now, my girlfriend is not with me for this one, mainly mainly because we literally moved into the house a couple days ago, so we're still getting settled, but we also picked up a purebred Doberman puppy um, yesterday for when I'm recording this, so she is with her right now, so she is going to be gone from this week's episode of Game of Thrones and possibly next week, but she will be back. Do not worry, she's just going to be gone for one or two episodes, but nonetheless, we are still here, and I am still excited for this, man. Last week, obviously, the biggest thing that we kind of left off on was Sir Jorah. He got touched, which, I mean, this show has done a pretty good job at implying that if you get that disease, you're pretty much good as dead. Obviously, the only person to kind of really survive it and get out of it that we know of anyway is Stannis' daughter. So I really hope this doesn't mean death for Sir Jorah. We obviously just lost Sir, Ber Sir Barristan as well. So there's a lot of stuff going down in the show. I'm excited to see kind of the fallout from everything. Again, we've watched the first half of the season, which has done a fantastic job of building stuff up. Obviously, everything going on with Marjorie as well and her brother, you know, kind of being imprisoned and whatnot and all the stuff Cersei's doing. We have all the stuff going on um, with all, all, all the people in Dawn and Jamie and all of them. It's just a lot, man, and I'm here for it. And I'm excited for it. This the, the first half of this entire season, I've enjoyed and I've loved, man. So I'm excited to see what's in store for the second half, guys. I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask that if you guys are on a new channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Man, drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. I need to turn this bunch of thieves and runaways into men of the night's watch. And how's that going, Commander Mormont? I forgot that Tyrion did have that conversation with Commander Mormont. I hope they're not showing all this because now it's like, well, Sir Jorah's dying too. The girl must become no one. What do we do with them after we wash them? God, Arya's storyline is... There's so many good storylines going on right now, don't get me wrong, but I think her storyline is the one that I'm like most excited to see the outcome of. Either her or Daenerys, because we've been with Daenerys for a minute too, and her storyline of her going all the way to Westeros, I don't know, man. I'm excited to see the outcome of both of them, but fuck, Arya's storyline is good as shit right now. She, it's just because like she's the youngest out of the family, right? And you see her in the first season, she's this young little girl, and she wants to, you know, not be the typical girl, the typical lady. You know, and you're like, okay, you know, maybe she's going to grow up and not be. And then you see people like Brienne and stuff. And you see her get training. And then you see her start to lose everyone in her family, too. And then you start to see her become a little bit of a badass, you know? And now, it's like she's here. She's at the peak of her arc, I feel like, where she's just going to she's gonna explode, man. And it's going to be awesome. I'm excited to see it. I am. I am, man. Man, it feels good hearing this theme song, too. It's been so long, man. I'm excited to see Tyrion. I'm excited to see everybody. I'm nervous though. I really hope. I really hope Sir Jorah can somehow survive it. I really do. Especially for Daenerys, dude. Daenerys is. I mean, obviously she has obviously she has that plan to marry one of the uh, people of the high families, but she just lost Sir Barristan. That shit sucks for her. Jumping right into Arya's. We came this close to naming our new Doberman Arya. Not on no weird stuff, but I don't know. It was kind of cool. We almost did. Cleaning so many different bodies. I wonder how long she's been for been here for at this point. She's like so curious about what happens to him because i wonder if she ever got her answer her question answered about what they do with the bodies it's like she's unlocked one part of this place and she's got to wait to unlock the next left it cracked just like before 
exactly what happened the first time. The other door, man. God. What are they doing with the bodies? Get back to work. Well, who are you? Mm. What are you doing here? How did you get here? I'm from Westeros. Just like you. Really? Daughter of a lord, just like you. Except I was an only child. Heir to his fortune. My mother died. My father remarried and his new wife gave birth to a girl. My stepmother didn't want any rivals for her precious daughter. So mm. she tried to kill me with poison. I found out. Sought help from the faceless men. And my father was widowed again. Damn. I've been serving them ever since. That's crazy. Shit. Got her story finally, I guess. That's good. Was that true? Or a lie? Probably not. What? Did you believe every word I said? Damn. Because you don't know if she's telling the truth or not. Because at first I thought she was lying. At first I was like, she's not from Westeros. But then I was like, mm, I don't know. The story's pretty detailed. My family home is Winterfell. I'm the youngest daughter of a great lord. Eddard Stark. He died in battle. A lie. After he was executed, I fled the capital. An outlaw kidnapped me. A man called Polliver. A man called the Hound. Sandor Clegane. He tried to sell me, but was wounded in a fight. He begged me to kill him, but I wouldn't. I left him in the mountains to die. I mm. wanted him to suffer. I hated him. Mm. She didn't hate him. That I was a lie. Him. Damn. That's not a lie. A girl lies to me, to the many-faced God, mm. to herself. Does she truly want to be no one? Yes. She doesn't. She just wants power, man. She wants to be able to take out her enemies. He could tell when she's lying and when she wasn't. She she would literally just trinkle in a little lie, even something as small as change in the hound's name. I don't think she hated the hound. I think at first she did, but as she grew to know him and, and know his story, she, she didn't hate him anymore. You never wondered why Tyrion Lannister decided to visit a brothel in Volantis. I'm sure you visited many brothels in many cities. That, yeah, that is true, but still, way out here. What do you know about my father? I met him. I visited the wall. When I asked him about his men, he knew all the stories, every one of them. He actually cared about the people under his command. Mormont was good. Whenever they put it in the watch. We shall never see his like again. He, he doesn't know he's dead, huh? How could he? Fuck. That's sad. He was leading an expedition beyond the wall. There was a mutiny. He was murdered by his own men. We better keep moving. You could tell that hurt Jorah. You could tell. I wonder when the last time he talked to his dad was. It's been a long time, I'm sure. I love this little interaction, dude. I just... Tyrion interacting with any character is so awesome to me. Just because Tyrion's character is so dope, you know? I used to be like you. I was sick. I was dying. But my father never gave up on me. My father prayed to the many-faced God, and I drank the water from his fountain. It healed me. She's good at lying, man. Shit. I believe that. If I didn't know her whole story, I'd be like, really? <laughs> Jacken's probably like, this one's special. I think Arya is a little bit different than everyone else. She don't feel no pain no more. That's all the dad wanted. And she probably went away in comfort too. Now's your chance. It's so weird. It's cause like, they're not like, okay, come, come back here and look. They like try and see if you'll follow them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but let's see if we can get her to follow us down here. Is that all their heads? Oh my god. I wonder if it's like he uses each person's face and that's how he kind of changes into different people, maybe? Like, not obviously physically take them and put them on, but you know what I mean. That's why he has them down there. I don't know. 
He's obviously saved just their faces, the guy he turned into right there. What does he do with the rest of their bodies, though? This has to be creepy for Arya. Is the girl ready? To give up her ears, her nose, her tongue? Her hopes and dreams, her loves and hates, all that makes a girl who she is. I don't know if she can give up her hate. That's the whole reason she's doing this, is to get revenge and vengeance. A girl is not ready to become no one. But she's ready to become someone else. Mm. I like this, man. She don't she don't necessarily have to become no one. Maybe she just needs to start a journey of something else, you know? She doesn't have to be a mini phase god like him or anything like that, you know? So a woman who has not spent a single day of her adult life in Westeros becomes the ruler of Westeros? That's justice? She's the rightful mm. heir. Why? Because her father who burned living men for amusement was the king? That is true, too. It probably came ashore. Water. Fuck. Fuck. Mora. Oh my god. I almost called him Mora. I mean, technically he is, but Jorah has no sword. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. What? Let's discuss this. And then chop off his cock. We'll sell it for a fortune. The dwarf's what? cock has magic powers. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. The dwarf lives until we find a cock merchant. <laughs> I think that's gonna be kind of hard to find. I feel like that wouldn't be as, you know, out there as you would think. I killed a Dothraki blood rider in single combat. Mm-hmm. That's impressive to them. Liar. It's no lie. His name was Quotho. He was blood rider to Khal Drogo. Take me to Slaver's Bay, put a sword in my hand, I'll prove my worth. <laughs> He's like, we hit the jackpot. <laughs> Just so many fucking twists and turns, dude. It's so unfortunate. Step carefully, Lord Baelish. You'll find there's little tolerance for flesh peddlers in the new King's Landing. We both peddle fantasies, brother Lancel. Mine just happened to be entertaining. <laughs> Man, I want somebody to fuck these dudes up. Brother Lancel, shit. I don't know. I'm the insulted party, Lord Baelish. Sir Loras was promised to me. Instead, he chose the company of boys. One's choice of companion is a curious thing. Yep, he knows about you and Jamie. Let the enemies of the throne slaughter each other, and when they're done, seize Winterfell from whichever thief survives. Winterfell is a thousand miles away from here. The weather has already begun to turn. That is why it is critical to strike soon, while the victor still licks his wounds. Peter's trying to get him to empty out their army here. I'll not rest until the lion flies over Winterfell. And I'll know you're a man of your word when I see Sansa Stark's head on the spike. As I said, I live to serve. Peter's making big plays and big moves, man. Shit. Do you want to marry me because our family's arranged it? Or do you... Oh, they actually fell in love with each other because they've been here for a minute. She, she went here when she was really young. You haven't had to use that axe of yours in a long time. I hope you remember how. I remember how. Mm, my man looks like he wants action. He's like, oh, I know. Once we've got the princess, then what? I like to improvise. Uh, that explains the golden hand. <laughs> yeah, that is true, man. Hey, Jamie got that saving Brienne's life, though. Well, saving her from being raped and stuff. Saving her honor. Fuck, man. It's about to go down with them, too. I get them wanting revenge, but, like, I mean, Oberyn did die in a trial by combat. You know, he he stepped up for that. He accepted that. Let's not do something stupid. <laughs> that was something Damn. stupid. We have to yeah. kill the now. You hurt him! He'll be fine, I promise, but we have to... Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bron's like, now I gotta fight these fucking crazy mother shit motherfuckers. God damn. These these look like they, they these are some good fighters too, man. We kinda we kinda see what they they can do. Each one of them use a different weapon too, it looks like. It's dope. Fuck. Bron is so good, dude. Like, imagine if Jamie never lost his hand. They would have fucking wiped the floor with them. I am Obara San. Daughter of Oberyn Martell. I fight for Dorne. Who do you fight for? Drop 
your weapons. When you were whole, it would have been a good fight. Mm-hmm. He knows Jamie. He said, now nah, you lost the hand, you ain't shit. God, this is like... It's like it's good because they stopped them from, you know, capturing Jamie's daughter, but it's also like, fuck. Get some rest, dear. You look appalling. And let me deal with Cersei Lannister. Mm. I think she's a good match for Cersei. She was she 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 can get pretty spicy, man. Our alliance with House Tyrell remains. Do you expect the alliance to continue after you've thrown our future into prison? Mm. As I said, I didn't imprison anyone. He understood that sometimes we must work with our rivals rather than destroy them. Mm -hmm. House Lannister has no rival. Mm. I think she gonna cook something up for Cersei, man. As much as, uh, as like, uh, you know, as much as a, a bitch that Cersei is, she, she ain't nobody to mess with either. And what occurred in his chamber? We engaged in intimate relations. Damn. You lay with him. That night and many others. Faith is satisfied there is enough evidence to bring a formal trial. Damn. For Sir Loras and Queen Marjorie. What? Damn. Bearing false witness before the gods is as grave a sin as any, my lady. Tommen! Tommen! Tommen has to make a choice, man. Cersei and she sent their dad away too? Fuck. Cersei, you bitch. Oh, I can't wait to see how that's going to turn out, man. Fuck. What was your name again? Miranda. And how long have you loved him, Miranda? Mm. She knows. She knows she's jealous. I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. This is my home, and you can't frighten me. Mm. Let her know what's up, Sansa. Damn. Sansa's done being a victim, man. I like this. I like that she's stepping up. You know what I mean? She's done being a victim to everybody in this world. I like it. Her and Arya, man, turning out to have some awesome storylines. I never would have thought from season one to now. Damn, look at the snow. Wow. God. Winter coming too? Shit. Well, winter's here. Lord Ramsay, he said I'm to take your arm. I'm not touching you. Mm. Please. Tell her. Tell her about her brothers. He'll punish me. You think I care what he does to you? Tell her that you didn't really kill them. I get it. It's part of, you know, he's so scared to do anything against Ramsay, which is why he's not telling her. But, like, fuck. You gotta break free from that, man. Somehow, some way. I hope the show doesn't end with him being like this, you know? Oh. Lady Sansa, will you take this man? Ramsey's like, come on, don't embarrass me. I take this man. God, dude, that evil smile. Ugh. Oh, no, no, no. You stay here, Rick. Oh, my God. We're starting like that. Ramsey is so fucked up, man. Maybe this will push Theon through and break break him from being reek you know what i mean to protect sansa because sansa's like a sister to him break through theon come on man break through break through oh my god Fuck. Breakthrough the on Game of Thrones season five, episode number six is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. He is right at the fucking threshold, man. He is so close to breaking through, I feel like, and becoming the on again. You know? Like, oh my god, man. Like I I feel like if there's something that's gonna do it, maybe it'll be protecting Sansa. You know, obviously, all the stuff that went down, um, you know, when he went back to the Iron Islands and then came back to take Winterfell and stuff, 
that you know it sucks but at the end of the day that entire time he was definitely you know back and forth with himself and didn't want to you know he didn't want to hurt brandon and them you know he 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 was gonna send a letter to to rob and he never did you know like you could tell Dion Dion thinks of them as their family and their brother you know he had that confession to ramsey where he regretted it and everything like that man so i don't know maybe maybe you have an opportunity to save sansa maybe it'll have him break through but i mean like if if it was any time it would have been then i feel like man shit i get it's hard and it's like how can he just save her and stop her you know he doesn't have any weapons or nothing but fuck and not only that he's just so mentally broken like i know all the shit he was put through physically mentally and all that it sucks you know it sucks for Dion, but i i really do hope at some point in this fucking show he has a breakthrough and he becomes Dion again man i really really truly do but I guess we'll have to keep watching and see, dude. Lots of stuff went down this episode. Jamie and them are fucking captured too. I don't know what's gonna happen to them. Obviously, them. The the good thing is that the 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 Prince of Dawn, you know, or the King or whatever of Dawn over there, he doesn't want to start a war. So I don't think he's gonna execute Jamie. You know, I think if Jamie talks to him about what's up, and then obviously, you know, they captured uh, Oberyn's daughters, right? And so obviously, there's something going on there. And there's proof of it right there. You know, Jamie can just be like, I was coming to save my daughter because I knew something was going to happen after what happened with Oberyn and everything like that. So I don't know. Maybe maybe he'll be able to reason with him. Maybe he won't. I'm not 100% sure. But there's a lot of shit. Just, just it, it's hit the boiling point. And it's boiling over in this show. Everything with Arya too. I love the fact that Jacken was like, you know, I know you don't want to become nobody. You know, you love who you, you, you are. You know, you're Arya Stark. You know what I mean? You love your items, your clothes, your sword, all that stuff. And he knows that. So she doesn't want to become nobody, but he's like, maybe you just need to become someone else. You don't need to be Arya Stark anymore. You know, maybe you don't need to be the the, the little girl from Winterfell anymore. You know, maybe that's the route he's taken and he's going to kind of help her in a different way than she originally thought. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm excited for it. Like I said, the Arya storyline is fucking fantastic. I'm sad we didn't get back to Daenerys this episode because I'm curious as to everything that's going on with her and kind of if there's going to be more fallout from Sir Barristan being killed, you know, and everything that happened with Grey Worm. And then obviously, like I said, I know she's trying to marry someone from the High Family and everything like that. So maybe next episode will be their wedding. Lots of weddings in this show, man, throughout the entire thing too. But everything going on with Sir Jorah, and Tyrion, Tyrion's a talker, man. Tyrion's smart. He talked their way out of that and saved himself. And he saved Sir Jorah, which was super good. But we're going to have to see what happens, man. You know, if they're going to the fighting pits, that that could be good for them. You know, Daenerys could see him there and want to save him. Or she could see him there and just be like, I told you I would kill you. Because at that point, he's just going to be fighting. It's not like he's pulling up with Tyrion as his, you know hostage quote unquote right to deliver to her it's gonna be like he's here in the pits and he's fighting you know so it might be a different situation but again she did just lose her barristan she needs advisors and you know jor's close to her and everything like that i don't know man <sighs> and then fucking cersei the bitch everything's going how she wants it to man and not only that not only now does she have you know marjorie and loris kind of in a situation where they're fucked but they also have her dad and their dad for that matter you know in a situation where he's kind of fucked because he was sent over to uh go negotiate with the banking clan or what or the banking people i said banking clan from star wars but the banking people right and she sent um she sent she sent somebody with him and she she's pretty much made her power plays and she's got everybody right where she wants them so i'm kind of curious as to how they're gonna respond you know obviously marjorie's grandmother is the only one that's kind of not, doesn't have her hands tied at the moment so we know her grandmother is pretty capable we know her grandmother helped orchestrate joffrey's death so i'm excited to see what she does to strike back and kind of change this situation obviously she mentioned you know maybe cutting off the stuff that um the tyrells were sending you know to support the 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 the, the armies and everything like that because obviously they've sent a lot of gold a lot of food and everything like that you know and their alliance with the lannisters she's she was talking about cutting that off maybe it'll be that maybe it'll be more extreme maybe she'll go after you know people in cersei's family somehow but again i feel like all the people cersei really cares about left is her daughter and jamie and they're all over in dawn you know no one really knows where jamie's at 
nobody's gonna think he's over there but i don't know man i'm excited to see what happens with the rest of the shell i think it's fucking fantastic let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below like always also if you guys did enjoy this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on everybody i hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next i want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest supporters over on patreon man shout out to the homie silas kane and shout out to the homie that's so gordo i appreciate you guys for supporting me at my highest tier over on patreon if you guys want to join the patreon family the link is in the description down below as well as on screen right now you get access to full length reactions early access and a bunch of other cool stuff come over join the family i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one